Welcome to the demo video for ECHO. Hey, my name is Arun Nagdev. I'm an ER physician and the Senior Director of Clinical Education at ECHO. I'm going to walk you through how to use your iris. Cool little box, popped open, simple instruction card. Take your first tray out, and right away, you're ready to roll with your iris. Second tray, pops right out, charging, made simple. Welcome to the iris. The beauty of this is the probe weight this tends to be head heavy, which I like, because it allows me to move rather than make it tail heavy. So I'll move on to probe marker, it's obvious. There's a nice, easy bump in the center. Also, when you're doing procedures, you have these two large thumb holders or finger holders right here, which is beautiful because when I'm putting my probe down, I can hold it gently and be very clear that I have complete control. We actually built the whole UI around the way we work. Initially, it starts off with telling you either to begin scan or add a patient. The beauty of the begin scan is your emergency, you need to go, hit begin scan. But classically, I always enter a patient in because you want to make sure the patient information is correct. We also have multiple ways of putting patient information in. You can manually type it in. You can also go ahead and use a barcode reader that's built in to the phone. And right here, putting patient information in is as simple as a snap. You can also just look at your work list. The work list is built into the phone and I can just connect it through my EHR and click on the patient. Once I do that, I can start scanning. So I'm gonna start off with cardiac, my favorite exam. You can see here, clearly delineates all the exams. You have exams and procedures, both of them listed. And my favorite exams are at the bottom. You can see getting a simple parasternal long axis, not hard. Great view. I can change my depth by just pulling down. I can change gain just by lateral motion, all done with my thumb. We really stress the fact that I wanna be able to move everything with my thumb. Really easy. And again, I have a great view. Left atrium, left ventricle, aortic outflow, and right ventricle. I can see the descending thoracic aorta clearly. And a common difficulty is people do it in different directions. Changing your indicator markers, always three buttons. One touch and you flip. And the beauty of this is it's intuitive. I don't have to teach my med students, my residents how to do this. They just hit the button and it flips back. Again, user-based design based around the clinician. So right away, when I turn on the AI in Plax view, it begins analyzing the image. Once I have a good view, click a button and the AI calculates left ventricular ejection fraction and stroke volume. Plus it allows me to scroll back and forth to review my imaging. Really fantastic. The next view I'm gonna to go to is the apical four. I'm gonna ask Johnny to roll over, please. And from this view, I can do pretty much anything. I can get my parasternal long axis. I can get my apical four axis. Beautiful views, crisp imaging, but also the assistance right away. From this view, if I want, I can use my M mode. I'm gonna hit motion, slide my gait. I can change from slow to fast really easy to do, all intuitive, all built around the user, all built around the clinician that's not comfortable with ultrasound, and somebody that makes sense to everybody. You wanna record a video, push a button, predetermined four, six, two seconds, whatever you've decided, hit still, push a button, push a button. That's how you record, that's how you capture. Click out of this, you can hit color, and right away I can see by moving my box, this patient doesn't have any kind of tricuspid regurgitation. I'm gonna go over to his lungs. This is really gonna blow you away. So here, just a simple click of a button, place it on his chest, fan to get a good view, click one button to measure, and then it clips it. That's it, A lines are present, good lung sliding, and no B lines. I can scroll back and look at the insights. So again, this allows me to store these images, send them for feedback, or send them to my senior clinicians. Again, getting measurements in one click. So I'll move on to central venous cannulation. I'm gonna move on to procedures, hit the button, and go right up to his neck. You can see clearly nice views of both his IJ and his carotid. Clearly visualized, clearly there. Again, I'm changing my depth, changing my gain, and you can see clearly there's IJ sits right on top of his carotid. 
to switch to abdomen, one button again, go right over here. My common ones are at the bottom, so I commonly use cardiac and abdomen. I'm gonna go right to abdomen. Great view. Beautiful liver, beautiful kidney. I can even slide up and get his gallbladder. If you're doing a fast exam and you wanna see a bigger view, you push this and actually increase your view field. Now I have 150 degrees. I can see the thorax, I can see the abdomen, all in one view. I can even see the inferior pole of the kidney, unlike any other system on the market. I'm gonna go back to 90 degrees, and I'm gonna go quickly and look at his gallbladder. Again, super clear, change my depth, really look at that neck of that gallbladder, and you can see the portal circulation. Again, you can hit color again, just pop it on to make sure you're looking at the vasculature. Very easy, I can change it to power and to color. Beautiful imaging in your hand with one touch of a button. Also, you can image the bladder really easily as you slide down. There you go, you get a nice view. So here, one button to change a thing we call mimosa, which allows us to change the gain at different levels. Classically called TGC. So again, with the probe marker facing up, we're looking at the patient's bladder. The bladder pops into view quickly hit the AI button. It recognizes the bladder, tells you where to go. Bladder volume in a matter of seconds. You can scroll back and forth and even look at the measurements. And if you want to, even adjust the measurements. But the beauty of this is really simple way of getting objective data about the patient's bladder volume. It can be used by nursing staff, can be used by novice sonographers. Once I finish scanning, I can easily look at my entire gallery of images and videos, scroll through them in real time, and here's a nice little trick. Documentation now happens very rapidly and really simple. Click what exam you did, same thing, I did an echo, I did it for chest pain, for a little hypotension, parasternal long, and the apical four. Beauty of this is it can send the data directly in a DICOM format to your PAC server, it can send the data directly to your electronic health record, or it can send it to the EchoWorks cloud. It's really up to you. With EchoWorks, you can QA all these exams, give rapid feedback, and also help get your clinicians credentialed.